Hi guys, welcome back. So I had my first blooper previously filmed this and the uh, mic wasn't turned on. So we'll go for a second attempt here. But uh, it's Tuesday morning, so it's day five. This is when we sanitize and we soak our pea and sunflower seed for our Thursday harvest. So that's what I'll be covering in this video. But I thought I'd give you guys a quick update of our grow room, kind of where we're sitting at, what the crops are looking like. So. You can see the humidity was very low when I got here, it was 16 degrees, or 16%, sorry. The high was 32, right now it's 25, and then we were 81 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and that was the low, and the high was 84. So, I turned the heater down just a, a degree, try to get it right around that 80 range, I guess 75 to 80. And yeah, should be good. I've never actually had the humidity this low. I don't think it can ever really be an issue being this low, I guess. Just have to water more frequently because the crops will be drying out lots. But other than that, everything's looking pretty good. I'll show you guys the sunflower to start with. I'll just move the camera for you guys so you can get a better look at it. So here's the sunflower, not too much happening yet. As you can see there are more of those little radicals kind of sticking out, working their way into the, into the soil. So that's nice. I don't know if we can see anything underneath. There's no roots or anything really coming through yet. So all in all, looking pretty good. Might be a day behind schedule. If you remember when we first started this series, the heater was out when I tripped the breaker for this bedroom. So when I was at 55, I don't imagine, or 55 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't imagine too much germination happened when it was that cold, but we'll see. This is the peas. And you can see how they're starting right along here to push these trays upwards. Probably about half an inch tall now. So I'll just take this lid off. Yeah, they're starting to really stand up. So I bet you tomorrow when we come, we'll notice quite a difference with them. We'll be really pushing this tray off and I'll just... So you can see a little bit of roots there at the bottom. It's looking really good. Still really white. I'm happy with that. So put these bricks back on. Try to get it as on top of each of the trays as I can so they don't dry out with how low that humidity is. I'm going to show you guys the radish here. So this is after 24 hours, maybe a little less around there. No real germination yet. But these radish, they're def by far the quickest growing microgreen that I'm aware of, so it doesn't take these guys long to get going. So I imagine when we come back and look at them tomorrow, it'll be quite a difference. And the last one we have is the broccoli. So here's the broccoli, not too much is happening with it so far, but it's looking really good. So put the lid back on for the black oak with the bricks. Put that back on the shelf. You know what I'll do is I'll just turn all the fans back on. And once I got all the fans on, I'll uh, turn the camera off and then I'll meet you guys in the, where we do our sanitization. So we'll sanitize our pea and sunflower seeds. So. And that'll 
that'll be that. So I'll see you guys over when we're sanitizing our seat. Talk to you then. Hi guys, so we're now set up where we do our sanitization work. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll probably do three trays again of pea and sunflower. Monday was, you know, when we're in our midst of our growing season, when we have all our subscription and grocery stores, we were doing nine trays, nine, 12 trays of peas and sunflowers. So I'll do three trays again of the pea and sunflowers. So I'll show you guys that. Probably go a little quicker this time, as you would have seen all this once before. But I'll turn on our scale. Then I'll zero. So for our peas, three trays, we need 300 grams for 10 20 tray. So that'll be 900 grams of seed. Run a little bit over. So 9-11, it's close enough. You guys can see that. 9-11 there, so. Now we'll do our initial rinse. Let's see if any of that debris or dust off the seed, as I mentioned last time, makes the sanitization process more effective. So the way I like to do it is I actually just kind of like to have it in the have it in the sink for the first one. Just move these buckets. And then I like just to run the water over the seed. So that should be good. Set it in the bucket. So if we have 900 grams of seed, that's 0.9 kilograms. Just grab our sanitization seat, sheet. So 0.9 kilograms times five, that'll be 4.5 liters of water. So there's the 4.5 liters of water. We're using 12% concentrated bleach, so we need 79 milliliters or 80 milliliters of bleach. So, I'll measure out the water. So this is three liters. You can see the might be tough to see, but there's graduations on there. So it's a three liter beaker. And that just helps us, you know, then I can figure out how much 1.5 is. Or like 1600, 1700, 1.6, 1.7 liters. So. so there's. One point five liters of water. So let's get our bleach. So we need 79 mils. So we went a little bit over. So there's right around that. It'll come into focus. Got the cup kind of angled, but that's 80 milliliters. Dump that in there. And then I'll dump that into peas. So we'll let these sit in the sanitized solution for 15 minutes. 
and then we'll move on to the sunflower. Sunflower, I'll do three trays again at 170 grams. So that'll be 510 grams we'll need. So it's zeroed. Five thirty one. Five thirteen. Five fifteen, I guess. Copy of that. What I usually do too is I'll write all this down. I know what our seating density is and everything, so I'll show you guys that maybe at a later video. This in the bag. The reason I like doing it this way in the sink is I find it's just going to get like, we have nine trays and a lot of seed. It's a lot quicker I find than you know, filling up the bucket two or three times. And you're just trying to give it a quick rinse to get any you know dust or debris off of the seeds. Clean it up a little bit for the sanitized solution. So I'd say that's good. Set that in there. So at 510 grams, that's 0.5 of a kilogram. We times that by five, we'll need 2.5 liters of water. So we got our sheet here. This is actually the wrong one. That's for the food grade hydrogen peroxide. So 2.5 liters of water, we're gonna need 44 milliliters of bleach. So I'll measure out 2.5 liters of water. And it's just warm water, it's not hot, it's not cold. Right, so there's 2.5 liters of water. And then here's the 44 milliliters of bleach. Dump that in there. We'll just dump this in the, in the bucket. And then what I'll do is just wait 15 minutes here. And at the end of uh, 15 minutes, I'll turn the camera back on and I'll show you guys the final rinse before we prepare it for a soap. So we'll talk to you guys then. Hi guys, so it's been 15, I guess 15, 17 minutes that the peas have been soaking. So went in quickly, I guess just shoveled off our deck outside, if you guys can see that while I was waiting. Hopefully all that snow will be gone soon. That'll be nice. So here's the peas, they haven't changed too much in color, water is a little cloudy, but now I'll just uh, kind of rinse that sanitized solution off and then I'll let them soak for 10 to 12 hours depending on what time I get back here, so that's what I'll do now.
then we just remember if the peas have enough water in there so all the peas can expand and we have water left over. So don't do what I do and just fill it what I did the first time and just fill it above the seeds. It would be an unwise use of 10 to 12 hours of your life. And then I'll just open this net up. We'll set the lid on. Now we'll do the sunflower. So you can see just how much of that changed color in 10 to 15 minutes. Pretty crazy. Hi guys, so welcome back. It's Tuesday evening and tonight we've got to plant our pea and sunflower. So they've been soaking now for, I guess it'll be 11 and a half, almost 12 hours. So we'll start with the sunflower. This video will probably be pretty quick. I actually have company over right now. So move along fairly fast. That's probably one of the, I won't call it a downside, but it's one thing that when you're growing microgreens, you kind of are on a schedule. You got to follow. Kind of like, I guess, if you have farm animals or whatever else, there's chores to be done. Similar to with uh, when you're growing microgreens, you got to be there to water them or you got to be there to you know, take them out of the soak water and that. So if you're just considering getting into it, it'd be one of the things to kind of think about. how much that water changed color there over the 12 hours. Up here, 
let some of this water run out. Now we'll do the peas. Oops. So I'll let these just uh, hang and dry for a little bit and then I'll get everything set up in the grow room and I'll meet you guys in there and then I'll show you guys how we're planting these sunflower and our peas. We'll see you guys in the grow room. Hi guys, so now we're all set up in the grow room. I'll actually shut all these fans off. You guys should be able to hear me a lot better. Right, so we got all the fans shut off now. So same thing as uh, in video two, we got a standard 1020 tray with holes on top of a 1020 tray with no holes. And I got six of those, so I'll put uh, three liters of dirt in each one of these, and then we'll kind of level them out. I think we should have enough soil here that we won't have to uh, sift any. The lock should be pretty close. Then we just take our foil press, just press each one of these down. Then I'll 
give them a quick water. No, it'll probably actually do. Just give them one more press with soil tamper. Just with the kind of jug I'm using, it doesn't make a very flat uh, bed. Actually got a bit of a hole right there, so. Dump some soil in there. Then we will start with the uh, sunflower seed. Yes, yeah, so if I do it this way, you guys can. Yeah. <clears throat> this one right here I got quite a bit, so I'll just take a couple of handfuls, move it around to the couple other trays. Now I'll do the peas. See if I can move this camera, maybe you guys can get a bit better look at the peas. I'll actually stack these sunflowers here just to. No way, I'm not getting any pea seed in the 
Mix it in with the sunflower. You can see I think I got too much on this tray here, so I'm just taking a couple handfuls and filling in some empty spots on these other trays. That's why when I used to measure it out, so I had the exact same on each tray when I first started, I found it was just quicker to dump it on there and then as you're kind of spreading them out, you'll be able to tell if you got too many. So that looks pretty good. I'll uh, stack these. And I got a bit of water on this top one here. I'll have to clean that up a little bit. What do we have for time here? So 11 minutes. So it's pretty fast. There's no, uh, you know, I didn't do any cuts or anything like that. Kind of showed you guys the whole process from, you know, putting the soil in, leveling it, using the soil tamper, and then watering and putting seeds on, and now the bricks. So all I'll do now is I'll just put them on the racks and they'll start their germination process. So if you guys, uh, you know, have any questions or any suggestions on better ways to do things. I'd love to hear it in the comments and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning.